Welcome to learn about clocks and we are going to learn about a very important question related to clocks that is at what time between 3 and 4 the hands of clock will be together. We had seen this type of example in my previous videos which was solved by method 1 and right now I am going to solve this type of example by method 2. Now the question is at what time between 3 and 4 the hands of the clock will be together. Now the question says the time must be between 3 and 4 and the next condition is the hands of the clock must be together and we have to find this time. Now to get a better idea about this question we represent this question in the form of diagram and here you see the diagram we have the clock. Now the, according to the question the time must be between 3 and 4 so here you see you observe these hands this is hour hand you see and this is minute minute hand ok right now you don't observe you should not notice these dotted hands right now you should only notice these hands which I am showing you this is hour hand and this is minute hand and now if you notice here then these hands are showing us that the time is between 3 and 4 if you notice carefully this is hour hand and this is minute hand and these hands are showing us that the time is between 3 and 4 and the question also says that the time must be 3 and 4 between 3 and 4 ok now the next condition is the hands of clock must be together so if you observe these hands then this hour hand and the minute hand are together so these hands are together now we have to find this time so we have to find the time at which these hands are together in fact we have to find the exact time at which these hands are together but we don't know that exact time but at least we know that the time is between 3 and 4 that is at least we know that between 3 and 4 these hands will be together ok so first of all we notice the position of these hands at 3 o'clock ok so here you see we draw the hands at 3 o'clock so we are showing the time 3 o'clock by these dotted hands you see this is dotted hour end which is pointing to 3 and this is minute this is dotted minute hand which is pointing to 12 now these dotted hands are showing us that the time is 3 o'clock which is given in the question ok now if you observe their position if you observe the position of these dotted hands then you will find that these hands are not together at 3 o'clock and if you carefully notice or we can say if we talk about the separation of these dotted hands in terms of minutes then you will find that these dotted hands at 3 o'clock are 15 minutes apart but the condition is these hands must be together and right now these hands are 15 minutes apart this situation is similar to the situation in which two men are running in which one man is 15 meter behind this man and the condition is these two men must run together so if these two men wants to run together then this man will have to catch this man and for this this man will have to gain 15 meter over this man and similarly we can say at 3 o'clock if these two hands are 15 minute apart then this minute hand will have to gain 15 minutes so that our hour hand so that these hands become together I repeat if these hands are 15 minute apart so these this minute hand will have to gain 15 minute hour hour hand so that these hands become together now 
Now to find the time at which these hands are together, we will first of all we will have to find after how many minutes this minute hand will gain 15 minutes over hour hand. Now to find this time we consider a new situation. You see, consider a new situation in which the time is 12 o'clock. You see, this is minute hand which is pointing to 12 and this is hour hand which is also pointing to 12 and it shows us that the time is 12 o'clock. Now consider, after one hour, you see, after one hour, this hour hand will go to this position. You see, this hour hand will go to this position after one hour and it will point to one. Okay, now you consider these gaps. It is a gap between 12 and 1 and it is also a gap between 1 and 2. So this complete clock has gaps between these numbers. Now, if we consider these gaps in terms of minutes, then you will see that this one, one gap is, ma is, is made up of 5 minutes and this gap is of also 5 minutes. So each of the gap in this complete clock is of 5 minutes. You see, this is 5 minute gap, this is 5 minute gap. Now, if we talk about the moment of this hour hand in terms of minutes, then in, in one hour, this hour hand will cover 5 minutes. So you see, in one hour, this hour hand, in one hour, this hour hand will go to this position. And this is a complete gap, which is of 5 minutes. So in one hour, this hour hand is covering 5 minutes. Okay. Now we talk about the minute hand. Now after one hour, this minute will minute hand will go all around the circle, will go all around the clock. Okay. And it will cover 60 minutes. You see, this is this complete distance is 60 minutes. So in one hour, this minute hand will cover 60 minutes. Okay. Now you see this distance is of 5 minutes. We are talking the distance in terms of minutes. So this distance is of 5 minutes and this complete distance is of 60 minutes. So the remaining distance will be of 55 minutes. You see this is 5 minutes and this is complete 60 minutes. So the remaining this, this one will be of 55 minutes. And now you observe again, then you will find that this minute hand in one hour is covering 55 minutes more than the hour end. You see, the hour end in one hour is covering only 5 minutes and in one hour this minute hand is covering 60 minutes. So we can say that the minute hand is covering 55 minutes more than the hour end. So we say in one hour the minute hand gain 55 minutes over hour hand. We can also say one hour is 60 minutes. So we can we say in 60 minutes this minute hand gains 55 minutes over hour hand. Or it can all it can also be said as 55 minutes are gained in 60 minutes. So in one minute, so one minute will be gained in 60 by 55 minutes. So this minute hand gains one minute in 60 by 55 minutes. Now we come back to our previous condition. Here you see at three o'clock these hands, these dotted hands are 15 minutes apart. Okay, but the condition is these hands must be together and we have to find the we have to find that after how many minutes these hands will be together so you see uh, you see here to gain one minute it, the minute hand require 60 by 55 minutes so to get so 
to gain 15 minutes it will require 60 by 55 into 15 minutes we have found this point from this point 1 minute is gained by 1 minute is gained in 60 by 55 minutes so 15 minutes will be gained in 60 by 55 into 15 minutes so we can say that in this time the minute hand will gain 15 minutes or hour end this time is equal to 180 by 11 minutes and the approx its approx value is 16 minute right now for understanding we are using approx values but in exam you must use actual uh, exact values so we are using approx values so you can we can say that after 16 minutes this minute hand will gain 15 minutes and th these hands will be together so after 16 minutes from 3 o'clock these hands will be together so we can say that the time is 3 316 at which these hands are together because we already know that these hands were at 3 o'clock these dotted hands were at 3 o'clock and after 16 minutes these hands become together so we can say at 3 16 these hands become together or at 16 past 3 these hands become together. I hope you have understood. Thanks for watching.